Hello, hello! Oh my god, it's Kilk! Chat! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, let's go! Bro's <laughs> being sneaky. We're tiptoeing, we're on tiptoe mode, chat. chat let me get some big c's in the chat for kilk the love for Kilk. It's Kilk. <clears throat> it's 
good for your hair, it's good for your skin. <laughs> oh sheesh, it's time to start chat. I didn't even realize. Nobody told me. Nobody told me it was time. What's up chat? Everybody scream in the chat. Show me your screaming voices, chat. We're back. Um, this stream is a mini shout out to the late night gang. You know who you are. We love it. I'm sorry I've been missing some late nights lately. And I do mean missing. I always miss it. Late night is, no offense, Frogville chatters. Pr probably my favorite streams are the late nights. Um, I've been... I'll blame it on two things, okay? My two excuses for less late nights. One, I'm doing this challenge where um, every day I start a new song and I have to make that song or else I get fired from this fake, fake company that I hired myself from. So this is my worksheet. Each day I have to fill out what I did that day. So far I haven't missed a day. So that's one. Each night, I got to record something. So that's good. Part two, a little less um, justified. I restarted. I started playing Dark Souls 3 again for some reason. And I've been breezing through. I played it a lot years ago. I've just been in like that mood. But I, I think I overplayed Elden Ring where I didn't want to play that again. So I've been playing Dark Souls but I'm almost done and that's been taking up my nights a little bit but I'm pretty much done with it and I'm a little over it so I'm ready to get back in the late night we need to watch some rat pre prevention <clears throat> song a day yeah I might I was gonna do it all year song a day but it's like I lose count not count I lose track of like what I made and what I didn't it gets very chaotic my nights have been a little more chaotic lately I should probably make a, a track called Rat Prevention. How have I not done that yet? But yeah, it is. it has been a lot of fun though. So I will say that. But I just got to say I love the late night. Um, my grandma's here this week, so I'm kind of glad you're busy. Thank you. Tell that I wish Penguin's grandma was here because Penguin is mourning the lack of late night. <clears throat> Why are the beds Irish? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, we'll get to that, Spooky. Dedicated to the late nights. Okay, so we're gonna start. Let me start up a little of this background music. We'll hop in. Um, we'll go to Town Hall because we're gonna have a little meeting. Town meeting that um, Spooky, the mayor, Mayor Spook is, is gonna be throwing for us I don't know do you throw a meeting like a party my grandma was here I would ignore her for late night dang I respect that though penguin Ooh, I love the stars we don't get to see the stars too often frogville has frogville been Ireland the whole time okay so we'll get to that But yeah, the good thing is I've been making a lot of new music um, just because I felt like I made a lot of new music in like last year, but I was like, I just want to challenge myself to try to make a new thing every day, like not a complete, complete song, but yeah. So I did redecorate H2 a little bit when I died, um, you know, my little statues of myself went missing. I have updated ones with my new skin here. And then, yeah, I tried changing the bed. So this bed, I think, is the Irish flag. But I just wanted to make the beds kind of match the colors of Frogville better. Before, it was just random colors, which maybe I should have kept it that way. But I've been trying to even rethink altogether what HQ should even be. Like, I do like the idea of newcomers having a place to, like, stay um when they're new if they don't want to get killed by the phantoms at night 
It looks good. Okay. But also Irish is cool too. I love Ireland. There's this place. Um, there's an Irish kind of pub restaurant that we like to go to. Where I always get the stew. They have like a... I want to say it's a lamb stew. Very good. With the bread. Soda bread on the side. Grandma time. My grandma's almost here. Then we got some gang here. I like that. So yeah, that's why we have the Irish... Irish beds and then the Toad Town beds over here. And we have our beloveds in here. Like that. Whew. Um, but yeah, thank you gang for hanging out here. Let's go to town hall. We'll have a quick little meeting. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want town hall to even be. Let's go down this way just for fun. Um, I think I, I always wanted to make this like a hangout area, but it's also for, you know, if you're new and you don't have a place to cook your food yet, you can cook some up here. Why not? Um... You know, this is nice. It can be a pain to get your warts in the nether. Um, I did shut off, sadly. There was a little animal farm here, but people were really not leaving. You know, the, the kind of etiquette of animal farms is you leave two at least, or you leave a good amount, you try to breed them. Um, but people weren't really doing it, but I feel like we have the whole farm area. We don't really need it in HQ. So right now this is just a nothing floor. This is the pool entrance floor. And then there's trees here, but you know, there's another tree farm by the farm too. So I'm just like thinking what, what should we even do with HQ? You know, maybe I can turn it into more of a just cool house for myself. Maybe it's just my house now. Now that I'm not the bear. Everyone on internet is bad. Hmm. True. Paracord with the Fox Academy hoodie. Did anyone get their hoodie yet? I think mine is coming in two days, maybe. Well, I ordered one of each. I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> and I do hope anyone who is asking, I was told that they might print some extra. So I'm hoping for a little restock soon. If you bought one, I appreciate it. Hopefully if you didn't get one, we'll have new ones soon. Um, but yeah, did anyone notice this tree keeps getting bigger? I have been noticing this tree keeps growing. Want a hoodie, but I'm so poor. Yeah, that's the thing too is, you know, money's hard to get. It does look a little freaky. <laughs> it used to be kind of cute. Now it's a little, uh, little freak. But I do like the town at night. Oh, big update. Um, Gracious Gabe let me move Piss Tower because it was obscuring the skyline as we talked about last week. Um, but I think it looks awesome now. So yeah, I, I, I paid Gabe a small amount to move piss tower over there which i think it looks great behind the ikea sign now we have like a cool little fountain here which i think it ties together this little area you know i like that <clears throat> um so yeah piss tower is no longer it's still a good spot though arguably a better spot um because they he has a little bit more room on the outside if he wants Whereas this was kind of just crammed into the parking lot, the Burger King parking lot. All good. Some people are saying the all good hoodies are haunted. Is there any basis for that? Does anyone have any paranormal activity with their hoodie? I know Lucy did, but I kind of forget the story. Mine has been good. It did shrink a tad, but I still love it. <clears throat> okay, sorry. I keep delaying the town hall meeting. Let's get to town in the hall. <clears throat> okay, I'll sit in this spot. This is like, I haven't picked a seat in the classroom. I did, I lost it for a long time and then it appeared out of nowhere.
Is that what we're calling it? Town hall meeting? Yeah, town meeting. <clears throat> well, everyone drop what your seat placement in class that you pick, if you're allowed to pick. I feel like I always go in this kind of pocket, like middle right, I feel like is what I pick. Like middle front right. But I don't know, I was known to go left. Back right. Back right is like, sick. <clears throat> I didn't get to pick my last name though, so they put it alphabetical. Yeah, I remember those days. Okay. I think we're ready. <clears throat> you get the floating chair. Where is the floating chair? Is there paranormal activity in, ta in here? Is there a floating chair? I don't see one. Okay. Welcome to the town meeting. First, I will do a few announcements and then I will let you say any suggestions you might have to improve the town. So start thinking about that now. Ooh, I should have been doing this. Spooky is already a much better mayor than I ever was, so... Big ups to Spook. <clears throat> Raggle, let's go. I'm actually gonna be hanging out with Raggle this weekend. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna watch some Sundance movies. Make that Sundance. Make that sun do some dance. Spooky gonna be governor? True, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. What can we improve on the town? That's a good question. <clears throat> First announcement is that from now on, we will have weekly Muppet Facts. Sick. The first one I will say now, and then after, they'll be on a sign or a book in this room. Hell yeah. These will continue until I get bored of it. I'm into that for sure. Or forget. <laughs> there is no forget. There is only a remember. Never forget. <laughs> I will not forget. Yeah, I don't think Spooky will ever forget Muppet. Anything Muppet. <laughs> we do love the Muppet facts. What's today's Muppet facts, Spooky? Let's go. Need to get those facts in quick. Muppet fact of the week. Woo! The first ever Kermit was made in 1955 out of Jim Henson's mother's old coat and a ping pong ball. I'm guessing the ball was the eyes. That's sick. I actually need to see pick of that. I can imagine that. Yo, I love that. Muppet facts go very hard, I will say. <clears throat> that is a cool fact. Man, I'm trying to think of what would make the town better. I'm sure Mango, Mango always has good little insights of what we can do. Okay, are there any other next announcement? I will be constructing a dump constructing a dump to put all the trash that is piling up in the trash cans cans around town. It will include a pit where you can throw any unwanted items into. Yo. The pit idea is awesome for trash. Not to be confused with poop inks, the pit. TM. <clears throat> There is already a dance floor in the town. But we should get some use of it. And that that is it. Okay. Okay, Mango's got a suggestion. It would be cool at the en end of the month we can release the trash into a big lava hole. Well, I think the idea of it is that we can use the trash. So, you know, it's a place for the trash to like accumulate where people can like take the trash if they want it you know one man's trash you know what i mean it's my first time seeing this funky world oh is it yeah i'll give you a little mini tour 
Oh, I should show my skin. I was really digging the brown suit I wore last week, but this is what we're looking like this week. Still no apparent side effects um, of me having my body uh, mixed up with Richie Woods, but we're doing okay so far. We're looking kind of cool. Let's see. Can we make McDonald's sell real burgers? I like that idea. I think we do have the technology to do that. Um, a higher part of Frogville for more land. Do you mean like a sky part? Well, if you're looking for more land, I will say that there's been an underground, a large underground area that has been um, opening up under the town, which I think we should probably fill up first. I can show you guys real quick what it looks like. Um, it was actually a mistake how it got created, but I think we can probably um, use it for some things and it could maybe even make a good second town. So yeah, I think we can fill that area up and then I think the only issue with building above the town personally is that it covers up the map, you know? But there's plenty of space underground that we've built this town over a massive cavern so i think that'll be good trash huggers we need to make the underground look like stray i totally agree with that yeah the verticality of all the buildings we gotta do that but one thing that i think would be cool is like i think spooky brought this up before but it would be cool to like since we can have transparency on like image maps to have like cool textures or like spray paint like graffiti tags like on random public buildings around town would be kind of cool just to kind of give the town a little bit more of a you know a cool look you could have one even that just was like a weird crack and you just, you know, put them all around town. That'd be cool. Build a giant Junebug statue. Yo, that's a good idea, Ink. Um, but yeah, I think that's my only idea at the time. But I like this little, uh, little brain tank. What do they call it? Think tank? We should have a little think tank each week, I think. Spooky already killing it as mayor. I like that. Brainstorm. Um... Building caves would be fun. It would just be a big blob with eyes. Yeah, big black blob. She's right here sleeping under my second monitor right now. I think that's it for suggestions. For me, at least. I just want burgers. Yeah, burgers is big time happening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mayor Spooky. Meeting over. Woo! Epic. Now we can check the bulletin board. Okay, so we got some kind of major new things on the bulletin board. Um, so the main one I want to focus on, which is funny because it's not necessarily as big as the other one, but we now have a subway open in Central Station, which there's a couple updates related to that. Um, and it's actually cool that the first restaurant in subway station which is technically a subway is a subway so any members of the late night gang this is the moments you want to check out um and it came to life with the help of lovi also wrote some plugins for to make the subway as good as it could be an airport would be sick yeah we've been wanting to have an airport for a while so that's a good idea mango uh, let me know if you need any help finding a good spot for that Connecting each city if they agree. Yeah, I think we'll just have to look at like the layout, how you want to do it, but I think that's a great idea. Um, um, Guitar Center is coming soon. That's not so much of an update, but just me trying to like light a fire under myself to try to finish the Guitar Center. It's pretty much done. I just want to make some like drum kits, like get the textures all in there. Um, but yeah, we'll check out the subway and then the Frogville business bureau is open now um this is all old news but again i just want to shout out soiling being the new king of Def city 
which is actually closed right now. So anyone who doesn't know, um, no one is allowed in Defa City right now unless you already have land there that you rent out. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, let's go check out real quick the subway. So hold on to your hats. You guys might be overwhelmed by how amazing this is. So we're going to go kind of how most people would probably enter the subway. Um, the easiest way to find it is un it's under Frog, um, Frog HQ. Oh, and um, Ink, this is the dance floor that I was telling you about, which we actually expanded into being a small music venue. This is one of the first things we built in town was this dance floor, which we actually haven't really used. But I think we should start doing DJ nights here. It'd be pretty epic to have some uh, have people do some DJ sets. And then we have like a little comedy club here. We definitely gotta have concerts. Uh, me and Lovi have been working on some music. It's pretty sick for town. But yeah, to get to Central Station, which is kind of just the central subway station for all of town, is here. So this is Central Station, if you didn't know. You can buy a little minecart, and we have these automated rail systems, which I updated the signs for, so it tells you which direction they go. Um, so let's say you had a minecart, you would put it right here, and these buttons, it looks complicated, but it's really just left, right, or straight. If you wanna go, you look at the sign, if you wanna go to the Frogville subway, um, which I'm just calling, there's a large part of Frogville that is underground tunnels, so I'm calling that the subway. This is Central Station, which you can get to the subway from, but then, you know, you can also get to all parts of Frogville from here. So, to get to North Frogville and the Nether Portal, you would take that. You would go left to get to the shopping district downtown and Boogie Beach, etc. Okay? So, that's a little mini update as I updated these signs so they actually, like, tell you what, where each direction goes, if you didn't know. Um... And then this, I've kind of mentioned it before, but this is kind of going to be like a little kind of like Japan underground shopping center is kind of what I want to make this area. This will be like a public eating area. And then in those, there's going to be a bunch of different businesses here that you can, um, if you're a business owner or you want to start a new business, you'll be able to rent those spaces out. Capitalism 2.0. Um, but check this out. This is Subway. Grand opening, now serving Kilk. So I thought it was very fitting to have the first ever restaurant in the Subway Shopping Center. Um, no one recognizes my skin. I was going to point that out. Um, Spooky also has a Muppet themed skin, which is sick. So this is now the Subway Shopping District. So Frogville Subway Shopping District is a new part of town. Um, and the first thing ever is the Subway. It is Scooter. Hell yeah. So I'm talking a lot and not looking at chat. But yeah, this is the subway. We'll take a deep dive into this subway and everything you need to know. I think I might need some gold to purchase my food here. Just free gold is, is best. Even got the Muppet Show logo on the back. Let me check that. Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> so there's a lot to unpack here. This is Subway. I worked very hard on it for one solid day. So you walk in and just behold the glory. You're like, what do I do? What do I order? What's that? We got this sub sandwich on the wall. This is one of the sandwiches. This is the bologna sandwich that I bought on our first ever Subway Sunday. This is a Kilk advertisement. Anyone who wants to drink Kilk, this is what it looks like. This is what you get in your order. Um, we highly encourage that you order Kilk with your Subway order. Um, don't question it. You just need to do that. Um, please no hiding in the trash cans. It's been a bit of an issue since we opened. Don't forget to drink Kilk. That's very important. We got Danny here. The funny part about this image is this is an actually a Jersey Mike's ad. But... Like, I didn't really realize that Danny DeVito did Jersey Mike's, um, like, advertisements. I just typed into Google Danny DeVito Subway Sandwich without even thinking about it, and this image came up, so I had to plaster it in here on your way out. You know that this could be you, so happy with your Subway Sandwich. 
um, not sponsored by Jersey Mike's, even though it is maybe the best. Okay, so we walk in. We also have this. Oh, I forget. Is this Lulu's? I forget who did this. This is one of our residents had this sandwich. It's a pickle sandwich coming soon on the menu yet. This is the, an image of their actual sandwich they got from Subway. Beautiful. This is Penguin's sandwich. Long sandwich, I believe. Was bologna or cold cut? Forget what Penguin got. But yeah, don't forget Kilk. This is the Sunday special because it's sun, uh, Subway Sunday. We got your epic keyboard here. Cold cut, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, let's just go in line as if we're coming. So please form an orderly line or no, or no Kilk for you. That's actually true. We got all these ovens here. Um, as you can see, the ovens are for display only. The bread is actually raw. Um, just disclaimer. We got all our items up here. We got white bread sub, veggie sub, cold cut sub, oh, Italian sub. I'm please don't touch the sandwiches. Uh, we got apple chip sub. We got the bologna sub. We got kilk, and we got chocolate chip pickle cookie. Okay, so let's make a little order here from this person. Let's see. What do we? I think I'm feeling. Uh, I'm kind of apple chip. Maybe I'll do double apple chip and bologna sub. <clears throat> so check out these sub sandwiches, chat. So this is the part that Lovi helped me with. We actually added new food into the game. So look at these epic textures of this food. So let's take a little, I didn't pay yet, but take, well, I guess I did pay. You know, gulp that down. Take some bites of that bologna. Very good. Um, please do not touch our employees. That's also been a major issue at this location. Um, please just uh, refrain from touching the employees in any way. Um, ask for your sandwich wild style and the employees will add kilk dressing to your sandwich. That's a big recommend. Um, once you have finished your kilk, please leave the restaurant immediately. Um, Kilk may have unwanted side effects, so we recommend that once you actually do drink your Kilk, that you leave the premises because we're not responsible for any behavior that you engage in while under the influence of Kilk. Um, <clears throat> and also, please don't ask about the chili. Um, we've had a, some issues with the chili. Please don't ask. You can purchase the chili, just don't ask about it. Uh, which we have here you can buy the funky chili it's not on the menu for reasons that we can't explain but we have some chili here um, we have a chocolate chip pickle cookie which is pretty good and we got kilk so we'll take some good sips of kilk and then we'll get out and here is just for show mostly but this is kilk it cures all your ailments yes we serve kilk products only um we don't actually condone having any other products that are not Kilk products in the restaurant. Um, that's just what happens. Um, yeah, don't ask about it. Um, here, please no Kilk sand in the trash cans, drink it. So if you've never had Kilk, it can develop a bit of a sand at the bottom. And uh, we actually don't allow any of the sand in the trash can. So if you're fully unable to to get that sand down your gullet you may have to have a friend help you we have a public telephone that you can use um or you can call a friend and they can finish your sand for you but we ask you please do not put any of the sand inside the trash cans that you drink the kilk sand it's actually good for you and it's good for your skin um <laughs> Um, and yeah, just make sure that you you drink your kilk. Don't forget to drink your kilk is the main thing. Um, if you do need to use your restroom, we do have a restroom here. And you come in here and just careful with the flusher because it does open the door um, temporarily when you flush. So, you know, maybe pants up, then flush. You should be good to go. Um, we don't have a sink, but our toilet water is actually the cleanest toilet water in the city. Uh, you're gonna just want to clean your hands in there if at all it might actually you might be better off not washing your hands so maybe drink your kilk 
eat all your food, use the restroom, and leave immediately, wash your hands somewhere else. Um, so yeah, this is Subway Sandwiches, and I just hope that every customer is very satisfied and happy. Yeah, you could use the kilk to wash your hands. <clears throat> so that's that about the kilk. Let's take a little sip. Ooh. Wash your hands with kilk. Ooh. It does make you stronger. This kilk just gave me strength three, but you may have to drink multiple kilks to get the effect. But this kilk just gave me strength three, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's part of why we ask you to leave the restaurant because you may get some unwanted emotional side effects where you get a little aggressive. Anything could happen at Kilk. I um, mean Subway, not Kilk. I had Subway for the first time in my entire life like three days ago. That's kind of cool. What'd you have? I hope it was exactly like this. This is what all Subways are like. Didn't have the Kilk. Yeah, no sand. No can do if there's no sand. Uh, so that's the subway update. Um, it's been a long time coming, even though it only took me one or two days to build. So happy about it, and we couldn't have done it without um, Lovi science work getting these uh, this kilk in here. You can see there's sand on the bottom. It's delicious, and it makes you so strong. You may have to drink a lot of it to get strong, though. But that's just how it goes and yeah you just make sure you say bye to Danny on your way out it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful there's toad armor for sale at my shop ooh that's an update yeah let me hold my sandwich or no I should hold kilk in my offhand so yeah this um I am working on the layout a little bit but this is going to be the epic new subway shopping center. It'll probably expand a bit too, but right now this is what is uh, kind of available. Um, what else did I say? Business bureau. We're go we're go over the business bureau. See you, Danny. Wait, where did Danny say goodbye? Da, 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 but yeah, Kilk is. We love Kilk in town. Where did you come from? Um. Okay, so next huge update is the Business Bureau. I've talked about it a lot. Oh, Danny DeVito, doy. Thank you, Spooky. I have a weird disconnect of chat and Frogville, I don't know why. Even though they're so contained together, they still feel like separate entities. Okay, so these uh, business spaces I built a while ago, but I needed to build the business bureau to implement this new system to be able to lease these out. It's said for a while um, for lease soon, but now they're for lease. So you'll see each one of these has a code. And this is a big update in Frogville. This is a business update. Um, there will be certain areas around town. If you see for lease and a code next to the area or the building, that means that you can purchase that from the city and you can use that space. Um, so yeah, I built a system for it. So you wanna go downtown because that's where the business happens, baby, downtown. <laughs> Word business is haunting me. Um, so if you didn't know, this big street area is kind of where downtown is. Just follow the big massive buildings. Oh yeah, quick. Spooky did say there's a... Uh, um, who's selling it? Who's selling your, uh, not your merch. Your armor. Oop. You? Oh, we got this little little buddy. Little guy sells. Ooh, so we got some rare armor here for sale. While we eat our subway sandwich, it's actually a good deal because these are pretty toted out. Crunch, crunch. Ooh, the armor trims look sick. Security guard. Um, okay, business bureau. So how to get the business bureau, you just wanna 
There's a couple of ways. I guess you could go over here. It's better. You walk through here. This is the entrance. This is the business bureau. It's a big white building with some cool geometric shapes on it. And <clears throat> I'll give you guys the lowdown. Okay, chat. So this is the Frogville Business Bureau. Let's clear a little space. So you walk in and this is what it looks like. It might be a little overwhelming as a new wee little business person, but you know, that's why we got all these books that have all your info. So please read the rules before leasing. So like I said earlier, those little spaces, you can purchase those here and they say the coordinates of the space as well as the code on it. 50 diamonds might seem like a lot, but most of these spaces are in prime real estate in Frogville where you can no longer build or have a business. Um, and once you buy it, you have it um, technically forever. So um, you can buy it. There's all this info, but I also have a system where you can, let's say you don't want to have that space anymore, or maybe you own land in Frogville already and you want to lease some of it out to someone um, to put their own business so you can come over here. So this is where you lease So anything that's available in town that is gone through the business bureau system Will be listed here and it'll have the cord so you can check it out or if you stumble upon it you can come here um, But if you want to sell business space or if you bought space and you don't want it anymore You'll come here. So to end a lease of something that we lease to you you can uh, sell it right back to us for the price that you bought it, right? Um, that's option one. I have tested it, so you can't just name a map this code. If any sneaky buggers are in the chat thinking, oh, I can get free 50 diamonds if I just name a map this. These maps actually have like a picture of the, um, they're like an image map that has a picture of the business on the front. And they're one of one, so I've already tested it. You have to have the actual one. No free money, sadly. But yeah, so if you're lazy and you just want to get your 50 diamonds back and just kind of give it back to the public, you can do that. Um, you know, let's say it's been some time and you think you can get more than 50 diamonds because, you know, there's limited retail space available that people can lease. We have an option where you can list... Um, you can request to list it yourself if you already own it. So you, I have all the info here basically of how you do it. You just fill out a form with all your info of like your name, the coordinates of the space you want to lease and how much you want to charge for. So you could buy something and then you could like um, request to give it back to us and then I can relist it here for whatever price you want and then whatever it sells for, if it does sell, then you would get that money back. So let's say you bought this first building and then you had it for a while. You didn't really want a business there anymore. Um, you could make a request that we make a listing to sell that space for you at whatever price you want. And if it does sell, that money would go back to you. Um, so that's an option, but if you just want quick cash and you don't want to wait for someone to come along and buy it, you can get it back for your, the money you paid for it. Um, also, there's the other route if you don't want to go through our system and let's say you have a friend who's like, oh, I want to buy that from you. Can I just buy it from you? Or if you just want to give it to someone, you can, but you just have to make sure that you give us the info so that we can transfer the ownership to your friend. All right. This is like economics class chat. That's crazy. So all the info, I won't bore you guys reading all of this, but everything you have to know, all the rules that you have to follow as a business owner in town is here. Um, another business update before you can only buy shopkeepers in um, the shop under HQ, but now I put a second shop here just to make it convenient um, for the business creators. So if you want to start your business, you can also buy shopkeeper eggs here for the same price and I have a little mini ad here if anyone didn't know um, Finko's will print you signage for free for your business um, just put a request in the print shop channel in the discord and we can print you big signs um, Finko's is mostly for personal images that people want but if you need big signage like the big subway sign or something like that 
that's being used for a business that's open to the public, we can print that for you for free. Um, also, if you didn't know, this lists all of the businesses currently open in Frogville territory. So as you can see, I just added Subway here. So if you are gonna register your business in one of these, you just take the book and there's three lines. The first line is for what the business is. The second line is who owns the business. Some say the stars, cause it's like, I did build it, but it's kind of owned by the city. So there's not like a true owner. Um, so it would be the name of the business, um, the owner and the location. If it's like hyper specific, you can put like what the coordinates are, but most of these just say like what part of town it is. So that's that. <clears throat> kind of epic. So how was the server? It's been about a year, a little over a year. We just had a one year anniversary. So yeah, you can have your own business in town. And uh, I try to log everything, but if you can, if you start a new business, just come here, take the book and just enter what your business is and like, you know, do your usual of promoting it on the bulletin board. And we just have all these categories. So make sure you put in the right category, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think that's everything other than that if you want to have a business meeting all these spaces up here I do need to add some doors and some conference rooms, but you can have little business meetings up here if you want what the heck I won't say nothing I won't sneak a peek at that business meeting probably you know um, So yeah, it's very exciting um, I might make a channel in the discord for business just like um so people can maybe remind me let's say because if you do make a request and i'm not checking the request box every day i do have a, the request box but you want to let me know oh i put a request in then i know i can go check it you know <clears throat> so yeah, that's exciting um the major rule for these though that i don't know if i said um that is important um we have to limit I think just to limit it, to give enough spaces for everyone that each person can only buy one of these spaces once a month. So I'll try to keep track of it. Um, but we ask that you do not buy more than one space per month. Let's say you are mega rich, which a lot of people in town are that rich where they could buy all of these. Um, we just ask that you do not take up more than one of these a month just to give time for other people to have access to all of them if you do buy one we'll just ask for the lease back and we'll refund you your money it's not a big deal but just to make it fair for everyone to have a chance so that you can't just have a monopoly on you know business in town <clears throat> but yeah i think it'll be very epic i think we should take their money um so yeah that's a cool update and then the next big one is going to be for homes which is going to be on the other side of town i i won't go as in depth as i did with the other one with this i've briefly teased this before but we're going to have another one for land <clears throat> so that's for businesses specifically but you know there's a lot of land that people have claimed in town so if you want to sell land i'm going to set up basically a similar um system here so this is like a little diorama of the town and up here i'll set it up so that you can buy and sell land in basically the same way so like the the houses will have like a code on them like all in the suburbs all these houses will have a special code so you can buy them and you'll be able to sell them in the same way but if you already own land and you want to list it you'll just put a request form with your name and like the location, how much you want to sell it for, and then we can list it for you too. So, you know, you can do everything how you usually do it, but these will just give us a fun, cool system that if people want to buy land or they want to buy a business, they could just go to this one place and just see like what is currently for sale, you know? Kind of sick. We need definitely a rat HQ in town. Sorry, I feel like I talked so much just now. The rats will take the money. I feel like I'm learning more about the how the world works. Yeah, this is how Frogville works right now. Um, and yeah, I think the biggest thing that I need to do in the server is just kind of like figure out the laws. So I think I'll leave. I have been saying a lot of the words. I'm sorry. 
I will leave the laws of Frogville um, to Spooky now that Spooky is mayor. Um, but I just need to dial in like the overall server laws because I think there should be different laws for different towns. They should be allowed to have that. But then there should be other laws for just overall of like unclaimed territory, you know? And I think it would just make it more interesting. Like maybe PvP is allowed outside of any claimed territory. Um, stuff like that. We can take votes on it. Federal law versus state laws. Yeah, I think that would make it interesting. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, chat. And then maybe we'll play some games and my speech is over. Okay, chat? So that was my big spiel on business. Um, and I'll be right back. All right. Take a good look. Listen to the phantoms shrieking. And uh, we'll have a nice time in town. That was my big speech, my essay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for rating my speech. I was going to ask you guys what you rate my speech. All right, chat. What should we do now in town? Now that we got all that and I feel like I'm losing my voice now. <clears throat> I upgraded. Usually I'll get like, if I get Starbucks, I'll get a grande and that's enough for me. But... I started getting a venti and I'll just sip it all day for like 10 hours and uh, it's definitely a different, it's a different vibe for sure. <clears throat> Whew. Making my own town, the laws are admin give me free diamond. <laughs> That's the law. Is Elio still in stream? Oh yeah, Elio. Elio, are you still there? Well, only on Bilis if Elio is still here. But it might be... Grandma time. Was that Elio who said it was Grandma? That's someone else. It's okay if not. I think so. Damn it, it was probably Grandma time. <clears throat> we'll leave it for later. We should have a whole... I wonder where we should put that low by. But yeah, we've added some new items, but I think we should slowly unveil them. Well, we added in a very Elio item. Oh, Ink also said Grandma? Maybe it was Ink. See so different Infinity Pool, my fellow cinema viewer. I feel better than the trailers. The theater could have it. Basically, it's popcorn with cream cheese was added to the game. Um, but I'm trying to decide what the not this guy again The miscreant has been at it with the levers again <clears throat> Can we add dino nuggies and sell them at the museum? Yes, that would be sick It would be kind of sick. I kind of want to make a little control hub this could be something we vote for in town or recommend 
But if we have like a little command block, like a control hub, like brain of the town that just like automatically kills phantoms in like the main downtown territory only would be sick. <laughs> just automatically destroys them. Cause then I would leave it being night all night long. But the phantoms are just too much. Can you just turn phantoms off? Well, I don't know. I guess I could. But I don't want it to like... I would feel bad... Depriving it people who want phantoms. Is there a single person in the world who wants that? I just think in Frogville we don't want them. I wish they just spawned in end cities instead. Yeah, we're gonna be start rewriting the code. I don't think that's a thing. No one wants phantoms. Yeah, I don't think so either, Penguin. <clears throat> Let's see, custom items. But yeah, we do have cream cheese popcorn now. Yeah, I guess we could sell it here instead. It actually looks like popcorn, which is sick. The phantoms live in the haunted all good hoodies. True. It's actually true. Okay. Let's see what they sell now. Yeah, that looks kind of buttery. Wow, the prices are not are pretty low. But I guess the price of gold went up a little bit. The co the value of gold. Oh, we could put actually cherry coke here now too. The Butter Boys popcorn is also a classic. That's true. We can't put the Butter Boys out of a out of a job. But no, we actually that might have to be the next event stream is a Butter Boys stream. It's been a while. Inflation is canon frog bullet. Actually, did inflate. The value of um, copper went up a lot. Make them go to school, educate them with... Or it went down, I guess. Yeah, it went down. Oof. Okay. I feel like I was leading to something, but I can't remember what. See what else we got in here. Ooh, the coffee too. Glug glug, the coffee is sick. Yeah, we got some epic new items that we'll slowly add. <clears throat> oh, ink. I guess I could show you a quick. I've kind of been showing you, I guess, as we go. But I'll give you the quickest possible Frogville tour, okay? Just flying around. Um. <clears throat> So let's say you were to hop into Frogville, you would probably spawn around here and you're like, what do I do? And you see this welcome center. This will have everything you need to know about the server basically, which you should do if you're into Minecraft at all. And it has just all the basic rules of the server. Um, and I think there's some yeah, handbooks which have all the rules. I probably have to update the handbook, but you know, it's a lot of writing. And then, yeah, you can be off on your way, do whatever you want, but I would recommend, I mean, here's a big map of the town. It kind of looks confusing, but basically, Frogville is this big, main Frogville is like this island in the middle, and then the territory kind of expands a little bit, so like there's extended territory, like North Frogville is up here, West Frogville is like over there, South Frogville is here, um, and there's other towns. But yeah, basically as a new person, I would recommend that you just go up here, follow the sign. Kind of the center of Frogville, the first thing ever built is Frog HQ, which is this big frog building with the cowboy hat. This is my house, but I welcome it to all new people to come here. And we got new stuff always for newcomers here. So we got torches and usually we have food in here. Maybe I'll put some bologna subs. For the newcomers um this is the prize chest which i refill whenever i remember and you can take whatever you want out of that chest this is like a community junk chest if you want to this one is an ever-changing face but this one is just random junk that people don't want that'll probably get kind of replaced by the junkyard that we're building 
Ooh, the updated museum map, yes. I should show the new stuff in the museum too, because you did build that and it's epic. Um, so yeah, this is just HQ. It has like just stuff for newcomers and then you can kind of do whatever you want. But this is like the main city here. <clears throat> so like I was showing earlier, you can have your own business and a lot of these are like run by the town, like Target and McDonald's, but a lot of these are run by um, residents like you. So like Burger King, these food trucks, they're all businesses run by people who live in the town or around the town, and you can just have your own business and people can buy from you. Um, the subway station can take you to wherever you want to go. Um, downtown. Um, North Frogville is like suburbs, which I kind of showed earlier. It's like houses that we'll be able to buy soon. There's also this haunted house and like a Halloween area whenever it's Halloween. Um, or Halloween part two. Um, we'll check out the museum too, which is cool. Um, because it shows all the history. It's always Halloween, that's true. This is the mall, Lovice Mall, which has pretty much everything you could ever want. There's a few buildings like that, like we have Walmart. Uh, we did go to the moon, so here's FASA, Frogville, NASA, October 4. Um, that red island I would stay away from in the beginning is that's called Toad Town. It's basically evil version of Frogville, and you're allowed to kill people there and do crimes. So I don't recommend going there um, right out the gate, but it is nice to look at. <clears throat> How does one join Frogville? Uh, yeah, just check my Discord on my uh, Twitch. There should be a Discord link. And there's a whole Frogville like subsection of my Discord that's like all about the... And there's like an info one that has the IP on it. <clears throat> and yeah, you're welcome. We'll give you an even more in-depth tour if you want. Like if you're looking for a place to build a house, that's most people, new people's biggest question is like, oh, there's so much stuff. Where could I even live? So there's a lot of, well, I recommend is like we have apartments that you can live in temporarily until you find a place to build your house. And then like, I, your best bet is to ask me or Spooky or a mod like Lovi, and we can find you a nice spot for free to build. Let's say you're getting rich and you want a, a, pre, a primo place, you'll be able to buy an area too if you want. Okay, so that's enough talking. So as I showing the map, <clears throat> where's the updated map? Maybe we do a map and then we do the new updated uh, museum stuff. So yeah, what I was saying about the museum is the museum has this little hall of hall of characters, which is everyone in town who's asked to be they have a little about me section so if you come into town and you want to be remembered forever in the museum we'll make you a little case display case of your character and you can talk about a little bit about your lore or whatever your whole business is this is the dinosaur area of the museum but yeah the museum is very big and it has all things you could ever want to know so this is all about the dinosaurs but we also have you know about space we have areas that are all about the every event we've ever had in frogville um all the lore all the events whoa no way oh that's funny the ice okay so our normal map is just this area this shows all the unclaimed land and doxing anyone who's a little further out a little bit. <clears throat> well, look at this. This is epic. I probably had to get rid of this. This was a sn this was like a winter a winter race track that I built on the island. Their fault, true. Um and yeah, but the crazy thing about Frogville is there's other towns outside of Frogville. So this big brown area is Mr. Poop's land rest in peace six ever mr poop um, but his legacy lives on it's all made of dirt and uh it's still expanding this looks sick but yeah it's crazy how much areas and i didn't really realize how much of it kind of just looks like a bunch of different islands all kind of interconnected which is kind of cool 
Yeah, this is a very massive map. I didn't actually think you could make one this big. <clears throat> That's cool. I like that. So yeah, this is a museum. If you like are new and you want to catch up in like the history of what's happened in Frogville, two hours, yeah. <laughs> Just flying around. Whoa. I don't remember this blueness. I mean, this is the frog chair. Yeah, this is a, as you can see, a lot of uh, time goes in. We do love it. Counting a snack break. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly show an update of the new areas of our latest streams. So whenever like big things happen in lore or if I do an event, um, Spooky is pretty good about building a diorama for it. So this is, these are different events that we did in all the history of Frogville. So this was a plane crash one this was like a titanic one scavenger hunt which i think we should do another treasure hunt we haven't done that in a while so yeah it shows just all the fun like stream events that we do and then are the lore ones downstairs or these are events continued huh yeah so haunted house one was for halloween this was the continuation of the haunted house where we lifted the curse. This was our secret Santa that we did recently at Christmas. This was the one year anniversary of Frogville where we had a little fireworks show. And it we show everyone that was there. Um, this was a little bit of lore, but I got unintentionally killed or I died in a weird way. And um, we tried to bring me back, but we lost my body, but we found it. <clears throat> I used to be all green. As you can see, I'm a little red. Um, that happened from bringing me back. Those are my bones, my actual bones from the operation. He brought me back to life. That was a good time. Whew. But yeah, there's a lot to know about Frogville, I would say. It's definitely a movie. <clears throat> I think there is going to be... Ooh, movie. I think there's going to be, you know, we're going to have comics, we're going to have shows about Frogville. Oh yeah, and this is more lore, right? Yeah, this is more history of Frogville and lore. So this is about the Butter Boys. This is like about Toad Town. Everything you need to know about the different people that live and like things that happened. El Dorado was one of the first towns that got built. Jablandia. What's this? This is when I died. Yeah, this is kind of a recreation of when I got, when I died and we tried to bring me back and I was a ghost for a while. I need to make a documentary about Frogville. I think they're working on it. Oh, and this is when I got brought back. So, um, Richie Woods helped me get my body back, but that's why we got our bodies mixed up a little bit. <clears throat> and then this oh and this is the sad tragic death of mr poop which is very sad but his legacy lives on his employees are still working hard but we were there when he died basically which was very sad and yeah there's there's uh dioramas and we got info updating on all those <clears throat> Yeah, it's epic. It's ever expanding. Ooh, what's this? Mr. Poop's funeral, and this was last week. So we already got the the funeral with all the details. We got the funny skeleton horse that was there. What was his name again? We got everyone that was here and their various positions. Richie Woods helped me get my body back. It's gonna be my gym membership graduation quote. Let's go, Glam Rock Freddy right you get the reference now yes now that i did all freddy's freddy games pretty much i love that freddy season was crazy when is fnaf stream i think it'll come back you know i did i did like so many late night streams for like two or three months it was crazy not that i'm taking a break on purpose but i think we'll come back in full swing they are my favorite I gotta make FNAF a meme like Penguin did for Gex. True, that's how you get things to happen. 
You gotta go and strike. <laughs> then I can make you play it without feeling bad. I I love all of the games. We gotta play them, chat. <clears throat> okay, one sec. Whew. Okay, does anyone want to play any games before we go? Or do anything like that? But yeah, this is the museum. It's a lot to take in. But you know, don't get overwhelmed and you can like uh, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, if you are new, these are the apartment buildings. I'm probably going to make more apartments downtown. So I think that would be nice. Um but if you're new and you want a little place to put your stuff for now, got a lot of apartment space and it's free of charge. Um And yes, we can game. We can game. <clears throat> I'm doing that. Yeah, Penguin is making documentary, I think. <clears throat> About Frogville. It's going to be sick. <clears throat> Gabe, I think, left this year. But yeah, Gabe, Piss Tower update. It sounds like... So it's going to be like a luxury store, but I think he's also going to make it into like a casino. So all things fancy and expensive are going to be at Piss Tower. That's kind of cool. Um, today I was thinking, talked about it a lot, but I definitely want to build like an underwater part of town and maybe put some extra conduits over here. I don't know for sure if I'll put it right here, but I do like the idea that you could just jump off the dock of the beach. And then you could have a little underground, underwater town here. It would be kind of cool. But who knows, maybe we'll move it out a little. What's a game we could do with just us three? Um, we could do like a free-for-all type game. We could do hide-and-go-seek. Um, oh, and quickly, let me show. Mango was saying we should build, have more areas to build. Um, I have this whole new area. That I was saying got made by accident, right? <clears throat> so I'll quickly show the underground new town that has been uh, building itself. I can go see, can I add every Uno card and then we play Uno? Could we actually? That would be epic. Uno and Frogville. Frogville dock is going to be fire. It'll be cooler than you ever imagined. I know that. So yeah, down here... Um, all of a sudden, there's massive amounts of moss and grass down here. So there's a lot of like land down here that we can build. I think this should be its own town, which obviously, like, I think will be an extension of Frogville, but it should be have its own name. But there's so much space down here. There is a strange growth here that I'm a little nervous about. Some kind of moth growth. Looks similar to the spread, but very different. That's growing out from here i don't let's see if we can track where it it's coming from it's like growing out of the ground oh whoa what is this okay so it seems to be growing from here okay we can follow the moss a little oh uh-oh <clears throat> Whoa. Looks like there's some kind of sewage coming out of here. Are you sure you can't disable phantoms? I'm not saying we can't. I just think it'll be nice not to have them in Frogville, but we could make a vote to take them out of the game. It just seems drastic. You know? What is the actual use for phantom membrane? And like, I don't know, I like having them in Toad Town though. Like, I like having certain mobs that like you can't just block up away from repairing elytra yeah i think we should leave them but maybe just have certain like if you have a town you're allowed to like we can add a command block that makes it so they can't spawn or they get immediately killed in your area yeah you could just get mending i guess but phantoms be chilling what if you want a little danger so yeah it looks like there's some kind of weird sludge coming from oh this is the the lab of the guy that I hired. I really forgot about this guy. 
Huh. Professor Rothner. Yeah, he was making... Basically, I initially hired this guy as a way to try to, like, find a way to study the spread and potentially fight it. So I gave him a sample of the spread. And... He's been doing these experiments with these cows and these strange... Um, you can't see them, but they were these, these weird, uh, creeper-looking things. Let's take a look at these cows. Wait, what? Okay, these are Butter Boys, Butter Boys buttermilk cows. Why, where the, how, how are these Butter Boys cows? Hold on, let me go spectate mode. Okay, that's strange. What's the deal with these? Embryo of rot? Rotten specimen. Okay. So, there's something happening here. With the rotten specimen and the Butter Boy's cow milk. I don't know what exactly he's doing. He was hired to help us. Seems like... I mean, I trust him, right, chat? We could trust him, maybe. This is a lab under um, the Health and Wildlife HQ. Um, this guy's been working hard. Oh, I think this was the sample of the spread, but now it looks green. Maybe they used that. That's strange. The date on the murder mystery bot is wrong. Oh. I gotta fix that, I guess. So yeah, that's strange. Maybe something to keep an eye on, but I guess it's like... It seems fine. Maybe it's a good thing, but it seems like it's built all this beautiful growth. Even though it did leak over here, it's made this cool new town, so it's... What could possibly go wrong that we have all this new land to build on? Seems fine. Um, maybe a little concerning that he's using the Butter Boys buttermilk cows. Um, because we're supposed to be peaceful with the Butter Boys right now. Um, and maybe we gotta keep an eye on this thing, I guess. <laughs> is the main thing. But it seems cool, it's like a Christmas tree. But yeah, I'm thinking we build a new town down here. And it should be fine. Um, and it's like, kind of connected to the sewers and everything, and it's just below the town and like... If Frogville ever gets nuked, we have all this land down here that we can build on, you know? And it's like pretty spacious. You know, it's nice. Oh, I'm on top of Ikea. Why would it get nuked? I don't th I'm not saying it would get nuked. I'm just saying if for whatever reason we could we ever were not able to live in Frogville anymore, we would have like an alternative or if like our air maybe gets um i don't know what's the word contaminated then we can go underground for a little bit you know seems fine right now but you never know probably catches covid yeah you never know there could be things that make it so you get hurt if you're above a certain uh a certain level in frogville we don't know that we might have to be forced to go underground. <clears throat> the program I use sometimes gets the wrong date. Oh. Okay, so did we figure out what game we want to play? Sorry, hide and seek. Yeah, maybe hide and seek. Let's do that. Sorry, chat. I'm just all over the place today, but I like doing a little longer stream. It's kind of nice. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on all the, the trees that are growing. That will probably be fine. Um, that things are growing a little fast, but it's cool looking, you know, as long as it's cool looking, there's it, there's no way it could be harmful to us, right? That's what I think. Okay, so hide and go seek. Did Mango leave? Did Mango say goodbye or leave? Are we Mango-less? Might have lost, might have lost Mango. Could be 2v1. We can hide seek. Maybe since there's so few of us, we can make like a thing where 
you have to make like a sound every 30 seconds or something. I don't know. Is that too crazy? Or every minute? Like you honk a horn or something? That'd be kind of cool. Lovi wanna hide and go seek? <clears throat> Let's see. I haven't seeked in a while. Sure, okay. What? What, ha what just happened? Oh, I think that's from the Kilk. Lovi, I think there's a Kilk problem with the Kilk. Save him! Save him! Quick! Save him! Save the axolotls! Save Techno! <laughs> yeah, the Kilk did the sponge thing by mistake. I think I noticed that the other day. There's something weird with the kilk where it does the sponge thing. Where it displaces water. And my kilk actually disappeared. Kilk is too powerful. <laughs> kilk is too powerful. Oh no. Kilk is too strong. Kilk is scary, chat. <clears throat> okay, what horn should we honk? Kilk magic is crazy. It does? I think I noticed that the other day when we were at the museum trying to figure stuff out. Okay, I got a horn. But it's okay. What could possibly go wrong? It's just Kilk. <laughs> I wonder, I think it might do that with some of the other items too. But it could have just been Kilk. I did write some of the code at 5 a.m. No, I don't blame you. It's actually kind of cool for the lore. The Kilk was too uh, hyperactive. But we can do we can do hide and go seek first too. I don't need to click my kilk right now. Thank you for replacing that. Nice. This is my one of my P spots, I think. Did this smile change just now? Very important. Oh, the first P spot. What is it? It might be actually, yeah. Immortalized. And this is the town flower, the poppy. Ah, <sighs> Frogville town. It's not the same without Mr. Poop, though, I will say. But we do love soiling. Wait, you went today and we forgot to do it. Oh, where was I? Oh, cause I was, um, I was on the power lines. <laughs> yeah, pee on the power lines. <laughs> Maybe no good. You're like a bird. Yeah, just doing dropping. Mango's back! I have to go converse with my problematic grandparents. Okay, Ink, thank you for hanging out. Good luck. Um, would love to see you in town. Thanks for letting us give you the tour and show you our crazy town. Have a good have a good night. And big luck with the G parents. I'm glad we could save the axolotls. That low by. Oh, Mango's down there. See you next time. Hell yeah. We'll catch you later. Ooh wee. Yo, me and Christian, we started doing this thing called Tape Tuesday, where each Tuesday we record like a bunch of songs on tape. And we had some hitters this week. It was sick. In the basement. 
We had some funny, funny dance song. We're just trying to grind out as much stuff as possible. I think it'd be fun to have different, like, random projects, you know? Gonna be fun. Are we seeking? Um, I think. Maybe we should find a mango. <laughs> yeah. Should we seek mango? I thought mango was down somewhere. We're seeking mango right now. It's been a couple weeks because I just started playing Stardew Valley. <sighs> That's epic. I just warning you. Penguin season, let's go. <clears throat> Protect Frogville from my wrath? What wrath? I feel like Mango probably went back to his house. Oh! That's gonna make it hard. <laughs> That's no fun. When you said Stardew, I I thought you meant for a second, um... What's it called? What if we had Frogville in Terraria? That would be funny. How many people... Can you have like a public server for Terraria? You can, right? That would be kind of funny. To have like a Terraria version of Frogville. Never played it. I've only played it a few times. With friends. But for long hours. <clears throat> it's not quite the same, but it would be kind of funny. Oh! I found Mango! Send a fixed version of the plugin in the mod chat. <clears throat> Should I? I guess I could just quickly. Okay, hold on chat. I'm just going to update the server real quick. <clears throat> here, let's get you. Yeah, you could just talk to Mango here while I... Just going to upload an update here and then reload and then hopefully the kill will not destroy our ponds and waterways. Okay, plugins. Upload. Um, the texture pack, is the texture pack, this, the resource pack, the same Lovi? Do I have to change that again too, or no? Just change the main file. Lovi plugin 1.1.2? 1. 1. 1. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 1.2.1 Oh my 1.2 Where is 1.2.1 out here? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, I uploaded it. Texture pack is the same. Okay, cool. Delete the old plugin. Done. Okay, now we can just reload. Do I just hit reload? Is that it? <clears throat> yeah, Terraria is mid. I agree, but I had some fun nights on there. But it would be cooler if we could have a... St imagine a Stardew Valley um, Frogville server. Stardew Valley doesn't have servers though, huh? Do I have to re-log? 
<clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna try to relog chat. It probably worked. <clears throat> Where'd Spooky go? Okay, Spooky relogged. <clears throat> That'd be very difficult to do, but sounds silly. Yeah, I guess because a lot of it is like NPC based stuff, right? But just the idea of like a farming game. Kilk doesn't ruin water, but the sponge doesn't work. Okay, <clears throat> so we're working on it. That's okay, Lobi. Rome wasn't built in a day, I don't think. <clears throat> Let's do how to go seek. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna teleport you to me. So if you're flying, stop flying. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, it didn't work. I thought... Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, it's TP all, isn't it? Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one to say me gets to hide. <clears throat> okay, Lovi gets to hide. You get, you get the horn, since we don't have that many people, every minute or two, honk the horn, just to give it, I guess this is the normal amount of people, but if we're taking too long to find you, give it a little honk. Okay, go hide, I'll look at the ceiling, I'll set a quick timer on my phone. For what do we usually do? Two minutes? Let's do a two minute timer. Okay, chat. <clears throat> but when Hightail comes out, we need to. What is Hightail? I've never seen this. Is that like a high pixel thing? Oh, it is. It's a sandbox game by Hypixel. How did I not know about this? So what is it exactly? It seems sick. Does it have like, um... Oh, it has like quests? Oh, whoa, it's like modded. Oh, this seems kind of sick. It's like Minecraft, but really moddable and focused around multiplayer. Whoa. You have so much to learn. Yeah, I've never even heard of this. The only game I've been excited for for years. Yeah, sounds sick. Is there any updates of when it might come out? Yeah, this would be epic. We got Fitz, character creator, sick. Okay, how much time we got? We got 25 seconds on the timer. <clears throat> they say this year, but I don't know about that. Yeah. Has it gotten pushed already a couple times? All right. Okay, now I can eat my chocolate chip pickle. Chocolate chip pickle cookie. They didn't expect all the hype they got, so they pushed it back. Classic, right? The pressure, the pressure. All right. 
I guess I should go into, uh, do I have enough food? Yeah, let's just go into, into survival. Onk. <clears throat> okay, we're seeking lovi. <laughs> Chocolate chip pickle cookie. It's got pickles and chocolate chips, and it's a cookie. It's that. It's from Subway. Well, the rules are no flying, and you hide. What other rules? Oh yeah, the rules. You got to stay in the main part of town, I guess. Um. Don't hide in the mines. Don't hide in people's houses, but you can hide in businesses. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it, I think. <clears throat> Where would Lovi hide? Probably a good spot, huh? Oh yeah, there is a new secret tunnel here. Hmm. <clears throat> Not at all? <clears throat> Not at all a good place. <laughs> We're seeking, we're seeking. I forgot the limits of where we can hide, so I'm in a plain spot. Well, I think the limits are the main island of Frogville. <clears throat> Especially when it's a small group like this. So you're in open sight, but you probably wanted to get some distance, I'm guessing. <clears throat> oh. Where would Lovi be if Lovi was Lovi? Where would Lovi be if Lovi was hiding? Lovi, 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 Lovi. <clears throat> Would you hide in a bloody back room? Would you hide like a little baboon? Would you hide in the arcade? Let's see. A plain spot. What is a plain spot? Found! Oh, epic. This is a good spot. Sneaky. Okay, should the seeker be the next hider or should we do the me rule? Toot toot. That was pretty quick. I guess if the seeker wants to hide, they can. Otherwise, they can uh, forfeit to the me rule. Mango, do you want to hide, or do you want to seek? Okay. <laughs> all seekers... Oh, all seekers to HQ. I guess everyone, huh? Okay, stop flying, I'm gonna TP all. Three. Two, one. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Hide. I'm gonna do another two minute timer. That was not a long enough countdown for the delay. <laughs> How long is the, the delay? Is it like seven seconds? Here, let me test. You got delay too? Okay, so tell me what number I'm saying 
um, when I, you get the delay, okay? One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. You heard it on the one? <laughs> so Lovi has no delay. Lovi's just behind me. I didn't know. I'm confused by this. I'm in the room. Well, I'm trying to say... I'm counting... We all hear the one first. Oh, I guess that's true. <laughs> that's true. That doesn't really tell you. Okay. No, that's true. That's true. Um. Hmm. How do I do this? Just clap and we'll send a message. Okay, so I'll clap and then I'll st start counting and then I'll just see what number I'm on. Okay, ready? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay, so that's like three. That's like two. That's like three seconds. So yeah, I guess I could do like a four count, five count. <laughs> we all hear the one first. That's actually pretty good. That's not bad. I expect it to be longer, but we ha we need time to land. Yeah, that's true. I remember when the norm for Twitch was 20 seconds. Some people, yeah, some people's like a minute. I think it's just they got crazy settings on their stuff. I don't know. How much time we got for Mango? We got two seconds. All right. Clap. Seek. Night seek. This will be fun. We're night. I can go seek at night. Let's go. Seek night. <laughs> it's seek night. Okay. So I feel like the hack for hide and go seek is to be underwater. But I think people have done that too many times. Maybe it wouldn't happen. A lot of people purposely delay to get better quality or so people don't stream snipe. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Maybe I should get a weapon. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Okay. In case someone tries to attack me, I have this sword. Okay, so... Oh boy. Maybe I should have a shield too. Are we in the zoo? Didn't older Twitch not support delays below 10 seconds? Don't know. Cassio, what are you doing here? Where would Mango go? Where would Mango go? If I were Mango, where would I go? Would I be with bees? No, don't let the bees out. Around three seconds has been norm. Huh. <laughs> Get these frickin- Oh, there's still a chest there from the uh, scavenger hunt. So yeah, I think this plot says for sale, but I might I don't know if I'll make it for sale for the housing or for businesses. It seems more of a business area, so I might do that. Time for my baloney bite. Maybe we'd hide in in the farm. Farm's a good spot. I feel like maybe people hid here before. <clears throat> Ooh, we got I don't see a mango. Where would a mango go though? 
Uh oh. This is evil. Okay, we're good. Where would Ming Go go? When do they have to blow the horn? How long has it been? I forgot to set a timer. Do they have the horn? <laughs> Does Mango have the horn? To pass it off? I forgot to give Mango a horn. I have it? Okay, we can give Mango a horn. Yeah, I MVC it over. <laughs> okay, Mango, honk your horn. Okay, honk it. And maybe say that you honked it. Or that you blew it, or however you want to word it. Listen carefully. Okay, I did not hear it, so it's probably not close to me. I did not hear a honk. <clears throat> so we're probably on the wrong side of the island. <clears throat> Ouch, ouch. My freaking butt. Nugget! Nugget! Is that spooky? I saw spooky. Oh, this song slaps. Oh, ouch. Did anybody hear a honk? Okay. I feel like we never get this far in the playlist. The song is hitting. Nobody heard the honk, huh? That could mean... Also, poop ink I think should be off limits. <laughs> I think is another rule that we usually do. But I don't think Mango would go there. Mango. Okay, Mango, can you honk your horn again? Let's see if we hear a honk. Listen, I, th I can't tell if I heard anything. I don't know if I heard a honk. <clears throat> How did you see the name? I saw your feet in the ground. Do love I find Mango? <clears throat> What happened? Love I find Mingo? Did you hear the first honk? I was in the zoo area. Sounds like Love I maybe found Mingo, I can't tell. <clears throat> Just got lucky. Sounds like they found. Uh, where are we? Oh, this is under the. Hmm. This is kind of a gray area. <clears throat> I'd almost kind of consider this area. Oh, he wasn't here. Where was he? Oh. I took the horn. Okay. Oh, okay. It was above it? Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. It's a good spot. A sneaky spot. Did you did anyone hear the horn? 
Okay, next person. Well, I guess. Did Lovi already hide? Did Lovi hide first? Okay. So. Spooky can hide. Or. Next person to save me. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> okay, you get the horn. <laughs> Spooky or whoever says me. Okay, last round chat. Let's make a count. I'm gonna go. Okay, cool. See ya, Mango. <laughs> okay, cool. Are you guys ready for me to TP all? <laughs> yeah. We can mango our enemies. No. No burning. All right. I'm going to set a two minute timer. And then we will seek out Spooky. Okay. Final bathroom break. I guess I should go in the P spot so they don't build a new P spot. All right, I'll be right back. If I was on PC, I'd join to replace Mango. Oui. Okay, be right back, chat. It's gonna be a two v one. Did it go off? How much time, chat? We got. <laughs> we got 25 seconds on the timer, chat. And then we're gonna seek like no one's ever seeked in all of history. We're gonna go crazy with our seeking. Check this out. I'm gonna double spyglass it. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hmm. My bad. Okay, we're seeking. Okay, I will set another two minute timer. If we don't find Spooky, we're gonna go honk mode. <clears throat> Double spyglass is illegal? No, that's how you see further. You never done that? That is so strange. Come on, you, you never double double spyglass. Okay, spooky, let me think. Let me get into that noggin of spooky. Just looks weird, does look weird. <laughs> One for each eye. Ink, what's up? How'd the grandparents go? Did you, uh, survive? Split binoculars. <laughs> We're playing hide and go seek. We're looking for spooky right now. This is the last game of the, of the stream. I got double spy glasses, which I'm getting semi shamed for, but I'm, I'm owning up to it. <clears throat> We're out for lunch right now. Oh, you're on your different time zoning. My great grandparents to get here. Okay. Gotta wait for the greats. They're very lost. 
Leave it to the greats to get lost. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Where would Spooky go? Maybe a graveyard or like something like uh, in a bush somewhere. The greats are even more problematic. Thanks for streaming. I was going to go to sleep, but this helped fix my sleep schedule. That's what we're here for. This is like a fake late night stream, Penguin. <clears throat> and Penguin, I promise as soon as I get back in town, we're going to do a late night stream. My mother-in-law is going to be watching our cats here at our house in the meantime. But then when we come back... Okay, honk it. Listen for a honk. You honked? God. I did not hear a single thing. I deserve a late night. Every night for the month of February. Oh my God. I There's no way you could appear at all of those, Penguin. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. <clears throat> Running for the late for late night on my B day, Feb. Well, what is that day? You probably put that on the calendar. <clears throat> okay, where would Spooky hide? I would have to alter my sleep schedule for late night. Hmm. You're forgetting I'm not in creative mode, so I could fall off of this. It would be the 21st. Okay, I'll try to remember that. 21, 21, 21, 9 plus 10, 21. Late night always alters. Yeah, that's the point. That's why we have late night. <clears throat> okay. Baloney break, baloney break. BB. Okay. Back to double spike glass. Okay, maybe... We hide in a restaurant. Spooky hide in a restaurant. I feel like I found Spooky here once before. Hmm, maybe in the bank? No, it would have to be somewhere sneaky. You hit a rich flex for me. 21, 21. Do your thing, 21. <clears throat> where would okay this is maybe too close to where the last hider was I don't actually even know where I would hide if I did hide just a whole carrot at a restaurant with a carrot in my pocket. Is it back up in case the food is no good? If it's garbage? Yeah, honk again, Spooky. If you can. Ears up, ears up, chat. Dang! Not a single honk was heard. It's evil. That's not chill. I wonder what the range of honking is. Probably like 30 blocks. Spooky's hiding in Gex and Games. Maybe. I'm just trying to think of Spooky's hiding patterns. I don't know if Spooky would hide in someone else's business. I just don't think that's on brand. But maybe that's why it would make the best hiding spot. Hmm. Maybe somewhere in like Central Station. Did you find? What did I find? What happened? No way. What? Oh, McDonald's. That's a good spot. Did you see <laughs> the face? Did you just see the face? That's crazy. That's actually epic. That's a this is like top five spots at least. 
Dang, I should have known. Good thinking, Lobi. Spooky loves McDonald's play place, so I should have known. I heard the honk and was just looking around. It's a good spot. Dang. I know how. It's because of the honk. The honk gave it away. The honk is the only way. That's like a hard spot to find. That's epic. Okay. The hiding horn. Should I name it? Maybe I should name this. For lore sake. Game day mode. Okay. I always think of my places while looking for others. Yeah. Okay, we got the hiding horn. <clears throat> Shaking in your boots. It was terrifying. I, I definitely flinched. Well, by when you saw me shaking my head, that was me shaking higher. <laughs> okay. Okay, not that, not that you guys need money, but just for fun. Just for participating. Okay, chat. I think that's going to be it. What better place could we end the stream than the McDonald's play place? It's very epic. Um, I'll see you guys soon, okay? I'll see you guys in the Discord. Um, I might be out of town this weekend, but I will have my laptop probably. So keep chatting the Discord. I'll, be, I'll have access to the server if need be. Um... We'll be good. We'll be chilling. See you guys soon. When I come back, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, we should do a late night stream is what I'm thinking. And it'll be so fun, okay? Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for hanging out. We got the new Epic uh, Corey set up behind me. As you can see, we set up this crazy arm. Now we have a top-down angle of the camera, which is cool. Um... Yeah, lots of new music coming soon. I know I say that a lot, but we really do have a lot. Um, and I really want to release a lot this year. So it's going to be fun. Hope you guys get your hoodies if you haven't already. I'm excited to get mines. And hopefully restock is coming soon. Catch you guys later. Okay, chat? Love ya. You guys are epic. I'll see you another time, okay? Okay. Goodbye, mom. I'm in the Michael server now. Are you actually? Are you? Did you just hop in? No, you didn't. Okay. Well, you will be welcomed in big, big open arms. Okay. Bye, bye, chatters. And I'll see you the next time. Okay. Bye, bye. Ha ha ha.